what's up everybody welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Tanel and um, yeah today I'm back with another video for you guys I've been away for a few weeks I guess but yeah I really want to take uh, some time off after building my PCTT 2017 SVP well invisible gables PC if you if you must uh, if you haven't checked it out then yeah check check that video out on my channel it's it's a pretty special build, it's right here actually. Uh, it doesn't have any cables at all. I, I bet you haven't seen a PC like that before. But anyway, uh, today yeah, I wanted to make a quick little review video, a review sort uh, type of video uh, from a new monitor that I have here. Uh, it's the Asus uh, XG, uh, XG27VQ. So uh, it's a curved monitor from Asus and um, it looks bloody fantastic and uh, yeah in today's video i'm gonna give my uh, quick little thoughts about this monitor i'm maybe not gonna go really in depth with the review itself but i'm gonna give you my general thoughts and uh, this time i'm not gonna use a spreadsheet uh, like next to the camera or something and read um, uh, from that but i'm gonna talk to you about this monitor uh, from the top of my head so let's see how it goes and uh, yeah everybody out there uh, wish you uh, happy holidays merry christmas and all stuff like that and uh, of course um, happy new year when that comes so 2018 i guess is gonna be absolutely amazing uh, hopefully for myself and for you too so yeah let's um, kick today's video off here and let's uh, take a quick little peek at this monitor and then i'm gonna start talking a little bit more about it could see the monitor itself does look absolutely stunning and uh, the, the main thing that I really really love about this monitor is the quality of uh, colors. It is a 72% NTSC panel but the color accuracy is really really good and um, that can be confirmed by a few other youtubers and reviewers out there also now i do have a plan on buying a color calibration tool uh, but at the moment uh, what i what i primarily use uh, to check if the colors are accurate or not is uh, well this, this thing here so that's my iphone <laughs> so i'm uh, checking colors on my iphone i'm gonna take one picture on my iphone and the other on the monitor and see uh, and try to make the picture as uh, accurate uh, to the iphone uh, screen because iphone uh, iphone screens are the best color accuracy out there uh, by default and um, yeah i do have the 7 plus uh, to check my colors but yeah, in future videos I'm gonna uh, use the color uh, calibration tool to actually see if all the colors are accurate enough. But for this VA panel here I was really amazed how beautiful the colors are. And uh, yeah, VA panels are, are about to even maybe go beyond IPS colors. So, I mean, it's getting uh, really close if, if it's not even... Uh, on bar with IPS panels already so yeah VA panels at the moment are looking really good and um, yeah uh, maybe I, I am about to you know change my mind about VA panels uh, so yeah that's uh, one neat little thing that I really love about this monitor now the second thing of course is the high uh, hertz uh, so it's a 144 hertz monitor and uh, it's ideal for gaming uh, but yet the only small thing is that it is not a g-sync panel it's a free sync panel so if you have amd vega or something like that you can use free sync to you know uh, get the picture a little bit more clearer when uh, gaming uh, although it's not a real major issue the biggest thing is that you have 144 hertz uh, the G-Sync, FreeSync is like a nice little bonus on top of the monitor, like I would say like 20% bonus or something like that, but it's, it's definitely not a deal breaker. But then again, yeah, would love to see G-Sync panels uh, more often than FreeSync, because you know AMD's GPU game is not up to bar uh, to this day. 
Uh, now moving on, it is a curved monitor, so it does have a curved rating of 1800R, so it's a regular curve, it's not a really huge curve, it's not a really tiny curve, it's just the middle point of curves, of curvatures. Uh, it's a really nice curve if you're into those things, but me personally, I don't feel anything that special with, uh, from curved monitors. I don't feel that I, ha I am so immersed uh, thanks to this small curvature. Uh, I actually, I actually kind of don't even like curved monitors because if you're sitting a little bit off uh, from the center, in the picture gets a little bit uh, distorted. So that's why I even prefer actually, you know, uh, straight uh, flat screens. But it is a curved monitor and I know a lot of people out there love curved monitors, so that's the thing uh, on this monitor. Uh, now the second thing, um, it is a 1080p panel and uh, that might be a deal breaker for a lot of people because <sighs> the cost of this monitor is uh, in Estonia where I live, it's in East Europe, it's uh, quite high, it's uh, about mid 400 euro range, uh, even going up to 500 euro range. Now, uh, nearly 500 euro range, that's about uh, twice as much as a regular 144 hertz uh, flat screen monitor. So if you're really, you really want just the 144 hertz, you can get it about twice as cheap. But you, you gotta understand, this monitor is an absolute stunner of a looker. Uh, it has some neat options that I'm com gonna come to in a second. Uh, it has a curvature and it's, it's uh, built uh, from uh, quality components. And um, yeah, overall the picture quality is really, uh, really good. The color accuracy is great. So that's, I guess, uh, gonna bump up the price to this range. But yeah, definitely uh, 400 plus euros for a 27 inch 1080p screen. Yeah, it's kinda, it's kinda high. It's kinda high, let's be honest here. But yeah, then again, the design. That's uh, the next thing that I really love about the smarter and I hope Asus keeps up this, um, this design that they have going on here. Um, now, it isn't a bezel-less screen, uh, but the bezel-less screens that I have seen so far, everyone has the small black bar on the LCD screen, so it's kind of not bezel-less. But yeah, the design, the overall design is absolutely stunning. It does have uh, Asus's uh, uh, Aura Sync on the back of the barrel, which you can adjust from the monitor's uh, menu and uh, I don't really understand why we need uh, RGB lighting on a monitor and especially behind the monitor and even more so in front of the monitor. Maybe uh, on the bottom of the monitor uh, as we see the uh, ROG logo glowing there but for some odd reason they're only using a red LED light there so you can turn it off and switch the uh, brightness of the colors but you can't change the colors it's always going to be red why? why was this uh, a necessity? because uh, if it would have been an RGB lighting it wouldn't have made the monitor any more costly than it is and if you do love yeah if it, yeah it is asus's asus rocks color red right but please leave the customer some options to regulate the colors uh, it can be by default red there's absolutely no problem with it but please don't just make it just red and uh, unable to change it now, behind the monitor we do have a huge RGB ring uh, where you can change the colors, but you'll never see it, it uh, isn't as bright um, as you want it to, to, uh, to be, so if you turn off the lights you can't see any colors uh, anyway, so it's absolutely pointless if you ask me. Uh, but the design overall is really, really good, uh, futuristic lines everywhere, and yeah, I really love uh, the design of the monitor overall. And um, yeah, coming to the ports, I guess uh, it does have an HDMI, a D DVI-D, and um, of course a display board. And um, that's kind of like it. It also has an audio port, but 
that's that's kind of it for the boards. I mean, there's not a lot of port action going on there. I definitely would have loved to see two HDMI's, two DVI's, uh, no, two HDMI's, two display boards, and DVI. I I, I really. If you can, yeah, get it in there, maybe VGA also, but who the heck uses VGA and DVI uh, as a gamer in today's world? Pretty much nobody, I guess. But definitely nobody who's paying about 500 euros for a gaming monitor, I would think so. But anyway, yeah, that's uh, about it for the boards. Now, it does have a joystick style uh, menu button behind the screen, and there's uh, some other quick uh, menu buttons uh, behind the screen there. And the menu itself is really, really easy to navigate thanks to the joystick button. And the menu is uh, pretty well uh, built, uh, there's a lot of options to adjust your screen. And um, yeah, uh, been using it for two weeks or so, editing videos, playing video games, watching movies, browsing the web, and overall experience has been really great. Uh, the color accuracy is something really, really good uh, on this monitor. So if you're looking for a monitor with a really, really accurate colors, uh, with a low response time, it is 4ms, it's not 1ms. Uh, because 1ms is the territory of TN bounds, which have absolutely no color accuracy, pretty much. Uh, and uh, the colors will almost never pop on TN panel. But 4ms panel, and um, yeah, the color accuracy is really good. I mean, there's nothing really bad to say about this monitor, although there are some few uh, nags here and there. But I'm, I must say the biggest downside is that it's 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 only a 1080p panel, and um, yeah, my overall scoring for this monitor, uh, I'm gonna give it uh, an eight out of ten. So it's a decent score, but it definitely could have been up to those uh, nine plus ranges if it would have been a 4K panel and maybe some uh, tweaks here and there. But a 8 out of 10 is a really good score for this monitor, I think. And um, yeah, if you're looking for a 27 inch screen with really accurate colors and you really uh, are looking for a monitor that also has some design elements going to, on it and um, is the top of the line, I would say maybe, then definitely, yeah, look for this monitor. But if you're tight on cash, definitely just go with the cheapest that you can find. There's not really another huge. Not a huge game breaker, um, uh, game breaker um, flaw going on with the uh, really cheap 144 Hz monitors. Um, you're just gonna lose like uh, quality of life features like good screen, nice design, color accuracy, and stuff like that. So, if those things are not important for you, then just find the cheapest 144 Hz monitor out there and go with that. But if you do love color accuracy, color, uh, the design and stuff like that, like a curvature on your screen, then definitely take a look at this monitor. But anyway, that's gonna be it for my video here. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, didn't write anything down this time, so I hope this uh, video was clear enough for you. So if you liked the video, leave a like for me. And uh, if you have any questions or if you have something to write, uh, do me, leave them down below in the comment section. And if you haven't subscribed, please uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. But anyway, I'll be seeing you soon in another um, review or an unboxing video or something like that. So stay tuned on my channel and uh, yeah, definitely take a look at my PC video, the T2017 SVP, soldered wireless PC. And I do have the build log video up also on my channel, so take a look at that also. But anyway, thanks for watching, uh, see you soon guys. And if, you, if I don't see you before 2018, then have an epic uh, end of the year uh, celebration party and stuff like that. And uh, of course, hoping for the best for your 2018. So 2018, let's make this happen. Let's make this um, be our best year to date. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys later. Ciao for now.